Hello, welcome to the Center of Math's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. So, in this, in this week's problem, uh, we're, be given, we're being told to let uh, G be a group and A uh, be an element of the group G. Um, and we're being told to show that the set of the uh, things generated by A is a subgroup of G. So let's get started. So first, if we have two elements, um, a to the m and a to the n, that are both elements of uh, the set of things generated by a, then a to the n times a to the m equals a to the n plus m, which is also an element of the things uh, generated by a, which means that um, the set of things generated by a is closed under multiplication. So that's the, uh, that's the first thing that we're after. So we know that it is closed under multiplication. All right. So next, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and show that it does contain um, the identity element. So a to the power of 0 um, is obviously a um, an element of the things generated by A. And that is an A to the power of 0 is equal to the identity. Um, and th therefore, the identity is an element of things uh, generated by A. All right, moreover, um, A to the n, an element of the things generated by A, um, to the negative first is equal to a to the negative n, which means that um, this set of things generated by a includes all inverses. So once you've shown those three things, um, you can conclude that uh, the set of things generated by a uh, is indeed a subgroup of the group G. So thank you for joining us this week. Um, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and check out our blog at centerofmath.org. Thank you.